This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Having had a look at the mechanical process for subtraction and addition, we're now going to consider the next mathematical operator, which is multiplication. In your starting calculations work file, there is a new sheet called multiplication, which is pretty much set up like the addition and subtraction sheets with the six here and five cells down here that are awaiting our formulas. Now the multiplication formula works pretty much the same way as addition and subtraction in that you select the destination cell, type an equals, the first cell reference, multiply symbol, the second cell reference. The multiply symbol is the star or asterisk. On most keyboards that is above the eight or on the extended number pad. As long as you have the equals at the beginning and the correct symbol, things will work. When I press return, I get 20, which is four times five. Same for our second cell, the equals, probably the most important bit of the whole formula because without it, it will not work. So we want this cell, which is B6, to be equal to G1 multiplied by G2. Return, 63, three times 21, 63. L9 times L10, start with your equals. First cell reference, multiplication symbol. Second cell reference. 29 times 2, 58. And just like the addition and the subtraction, we can do the multiplication to more than two cells. So we have equals A1, multiply by G1, multiply by L9. Return for it to take place, 3045. And finally, the same process. Always remember that equal sign. A2 times L10. 8. That's 4 times 2. The multiplication symbol in the formula doesn't stop from working any differently. You'll find if you go and change the feed cells, if I were to change this to 23 and press return, that then feeds into any of the results that are using A2. So that one and that one. Same over here. Let's change that to a 29. That'll push the formula up here. G1 times G2. So there's no need to revisit these and say refresh or retype them. They will constantly keep checking the feed cells. So I can pick on that one there. L9, L10 will always be L9, L10. So the same as the addition and as the subtraction, pick the cell that's going to contain the answer, equals, cell, multiplication symbol, and cell reference. 